We have four candidates for clerk of court, uh, Mike Blakey. Rarely spend money out of those accounts, and we've saved a significant amount of money. 
which will help us in making the clerk of court's office paperless. There is no legislative authority for putting documents online, and until there is, I don't know that anyone wants their personal, private documents online to be viewed until there's some legislative guidelines based on HIPAA laws and um, juvenile records that are in the clerk of court's office. But I appreciate your consideration. I appreciate you hearing what I have to say today. And I hope you'll consider all the facts when electing the next clerk of court. And I hope that you will consider me again for my third term. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. It's so nice to be here. And I want to share just a few things about myself. Uh, some of you have asked me to call me my sister. I do have a twin sister. I am the younger of the twins. Um, my, sister, <laughs> my sister is over here, Roxanne Wilson, and has been um, a wonderful asset in uh, helping me decide to run for public office. I am a person who has felt called for some time to make a difference in my community. I think all of us at one time or another feel like that we are led to do something. This is a position that I have know quite a bit about. I had the opportunity of serving with Ms. Carrick as her executive assistant and had several other jobs in the courthouse for almost five years. So I know firsthand what goes on at the courthouse. And I know what needs are met and what needs need to continue to be met. And in all fairness to Ms. Carey, you have done some outstanding things, so I want to thank you for the things that you have done. But truthfully, there are many other things that can be approached. First of all, I would like to take the opportunity to bring the courthouse together. There are four floors to our courthouse. There's a solicitor's office, there's a general sessions court, a circuit court, and family court. Of course, the clerk's office manages the Smaller courts, the solicitor's office manages the general sessions court. None of those people work very well together. And I think it's time that we have a clerk of court that brings the solicitor's office, the judges, and the staff together to work harmoniously together to work for the betterment of the taxpayers of this county. Now, there are many, many opportunities that we have to reach out and help people. We have to be present to do that. And as a clerk of court, I intend to be present daily. I intend to have an open door policy. I intend to have my calendar open so that you will know where I am and what I am doing. I would like to lead the people of Lexington in a positive manner. I would like the educators of Lexington to know that the courthouse is there so that when your children need to know about what goes on in government, they can come to the courthouse. We've done tours for years. We've had children come and visit the courthouse. There are many, many other opportunities to work together as a team. I look forward to leading the teams. I've been at the courthouse re recently, and I bring you warmest regards from the folks there. They're very anxious to see changes at the courthouse, and I feel very blessed to have a number of supporters at the courthouse who are looking forward to see change in our Lexington County Courthouse. I'm available if you have any questions of me or would like to find out anything else regarding my background, I would be happy to discuss this with you, but because of time, I will end now, and thank you for having me come this afternoon. Hi, Tommy Wendell. First of all, let me say thank you to everyone here for uh, allowing me to come and share a little bit about my vision for the clerk of the court's office. To tell you a little bit about myself, most of y'all have my palm card on your, your table so you can read a little bit about me. And some of you I could actually ask for you to stand up and you could probably tell me more about myself than I could because I've been involved in the Republican Party since the age of 15. I'm 40 years old now. I was, the, yeah, Grady, 40 years old now. Don't you feel old? <laughs> I served two terms as chairman of the Lexington County Republican Party. I served two terms as president of this illustrious organization here. Uh, and I also, just until recently, was an investigator for the South Carolina Attorney General's Office. And I usually get two questions as to why I run it. Tommy, why did you leave the Attorney General's Office in a full-time job to become a candidate? And why do you want to run for clerk of court? 
and the answer is exactly the same. I want to cut waste and inefficiency in government, and I believe that our citizens deserve better from our elected leaders. Waste and inefficiency goes on in government every day. I've spent 15 years of my life in government, and I have seen it firsthand, and y'all, we can do better. Because the money the government spends is not the government's money. It's your money. It's the taxpayer's money. And as a public leader, we are there to make sure that it is spent on what it needs to be spent on, on the proper functions in government. One of the things that I want to do if I'm elected to court, court is I do want to put all the documents that are available for the public to view at the courthouse. If you can come down to the courthouse and look at it, then why can't you look at it on the internet? Charleston County does it. You can go look. It's available on the internet. And you know what that does? That makes government more efficient. It also makes it easier for the taxpayer to deal with the office. Cutting waste, streamlining, saving the taxpayer money. Technology needs to be updated in the clerk's office. If you go to our website and compare it to other websites, it's a little antiquated. We can do more with technology and save the taxpayer's money. And that's something that I want to do. The second thing I want to do is I'm going to put the clerk's budget and its checkbook online on the clerk of court's website so that you don't have to try to navigate around the county's website to find out how much money the clerk's office spends and where they're spending it from. Because you, as the taxpayer, have a right to know that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have on my website my calendar and daily schedule online with my cell phone number, the same cell phone number that's on this column card right here, so that you will be able to know what your clerk of court is doing. Because you know what? You deserve it. You deserve to know what your elected leaders are doing on your dime. We can change government. We can make government better. I have been committed to conservative ideals for 25 years since I was 15 years old. Some of them talked to me by the very people in this room. We can make a difference. We can make government better. It's time for our elected leaders to stop showing just words and showing deeds. You know, it really is discouraging to me that we even have to have a discussion about being the buzzword transparency or openness. Because as Republicans, these are issues that should be a given to us. I promise you that I'm going to conduct a campaign based on issues and not on personalities. Why? Because again, you deserve better from your elected leaders. I promise you I will work very hard for you every day. My mission statement as your clerk of court will be to run an office that is efficient and provides friendly service to the taxpayers with little cost to the taxpayers. That is something I'm going to do every day. I'm going to try to run an efficient office. I appreciate your help. I appreciate your support. And I hope you will consider me and do Okay, our first uh, question is, what prompted you to run for office? And what differences can you make in uh, services to the citizens of Lexington County? make a tremendous difference for Lexington County. Someone once asked, uh, here in Columbia as a matter of fact, if you could show someone who they honor, that person would be able to tell what kind of person you are. Well, I'm the kind of person that I honor honesty. I stand up for people who I believe can serve as constituents and the taxpayers of our community. And I look forward to being an elected official who will do right by each of you and our fellow citizens in Lexington. Uh, I am running because I have felt called to do so. I'm a Christian. I'm a lady. I'm a Southerner. And I'm a proud Lexingtonian. And I look forward to serving at the courthouse as your next clerk of court. Well, I believe that I, I ran for re-election, as I mentioned, because 
I feel like we need to continue the progress that my administration has already started, but I initially ran for office in 2004 because I felt like there needed to be some progressive changes in the clerk of court's office, and I believe that we've met all of the need for those progressive changes to this point. Not that we don't need to make some more, there are some things that we still need to do, but in 2004, I identified with the citizens of Lexington County that needed some assistance. I believe in child support collections. I believe in supporting the families of Lexington County. I believe that that was my mission. I've been in the legal community for more than 20 years. I feel like I've worked with every attorney and every judge, and I have done what I set out to do, which is to increase child support, to reduce the budget, to assist the citizens of Lexington County, to make a friendly office. You can pay your child support online. You can pay your fines and fees online. We have set out to make a great clerk of court's office, and Lexington County is one of the most progressive clerk's offices in the state of South Carolina. And I stand by that, and I feel like we collectively have done a great job, and I'm running again because I believe that we need to continue that progress. Thank you. Well, as I said in my earlier comments, uh, the reasons I'm running are because I want to see waste and inefficiency eliminated as much as possible in our county government, and because I think you as taxpayers deserve better from your elected leaders. You need leaders who are going to lead by example. You need to know that your elected leaders, when they get up in the morning, that their primary thought is how am I going to help the taxpayers this morning? And I want you to know that in my years of service, not only to the state of South Carolina, but to this party, that is one thing that I have been taught and one thing that you can take to the bank is that every day, every single day, my main priority will be servicing and, and, and delivering a quality product to the citizens of Lexington County. You deserve it because you pay for it. You are the boss. This isn't my office. This is your office, and you need to remember that because you can bank on one thing, I will. All right, last question. Uh, can you tell us in about a minute uh, what <coughs> exactly does the clerk report do? custodian of the courthouse. Much as we have custodians who clean our homes, the clerk of court is the person that's responsible for keeping the courthouse in order. That means keeping the records, keeping the schedules, organizing the staff, overlooking uh, numerous, I think there are about nine accounts as I recall, keeping up with money, keeping up with people, keeping up with just about everything that you can imagine. Unfortunately, all too often, the clerk is not where she needs to be. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Being the clerk of court demands that you need to be at work every day. And I look forward to being the next clerk of court, being there, serving you, serving the citizens of Lexington, and doing the very best job that I can, representing everybody that needs any work done at the courthouse. My little sticker says very plainly we need more at the courthouse. There are other people that think we need more at the courthouse too. We have four candidates and now we have a Democrat running. A lot of people feel like we need change there. I hope that I'm the person that you vote for on June 12th. Thank you. Quite simply, the clerk of court, by definition, by statute, is the keeper of the records. We keep all the records in the courthouse. Whether they're general sessions, common pleas, family court, we keep all of the records. We collect the child support, we collect the fines and fees for general sessions or common pleas. Um, we also set the docket for family court, we set the docket for civil court, which is common pleas. We do not set the docket for general sessions that is set and handled by the solicitor. There are a myriad of other um, responsibilities that the clerk of court has. We do maintain the entirety of the courthouse except for the security which is handled by the sheriff's department. We work in conjunction with him. We do pay for half of that, but he is responsible for the security in the, in the courthouse. Um, we also have a, a, a 
some responsibilities as far as signing some basic general orders, which has to do with um, the Master and Equities Office. I do sign all the orders of references that send a foreclosure from um, common pleas up to the Master and Equities Office. So we have a myriad of responsibilities that you would need to clearly understand and know if you're going to run for this office. Um, I am on the job 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether I'm in the office or I'm not in the office. Clearly, I'm not in the office right this minute. I'm standing here having a conversation with you, but I'm working and I'm working for the citizens of Lexington County just like I've been doing for the last eight years, which is why the clerk of court's office in Lexington County runs as well as it does. And I would ask you, each and every one of you, to please investigate, to please look at my record. It does speak for itself. I have a great record as the clerk of court for Lexington County. Thank you for your time. Well, uh, typically when I get up and speak to a group about uh, the clerk of court's office, I will ask the question and ask people, how many of you by a show of hands know what the clerk of court office does? And people will raise their hand and then I ask the question, all right, now how many of you care? And usually it's a lot less hands when I ask that second question. But I don't know how to, I can expand upon having the current clerk and Ms. Moore already explain to you what the clerk of court does. So uh, I will defer to their explanations of the responsibilities of the clerk, but I will tell you why you should care. Because the clerk of court oversees several million dollars of your tax money. And that's why you should care as to who the clerk of court is. So yes, please investigate all of our records. Look at all of us. This is a job interview. You're getting ready to hire your next clerk of court. Check out our resumes. Talk to us. Ask us questions. Because this is an important decision to make. Thank you. Thank you, all the candidates. I probably, uh, according to the procedure,